Hi, I'm Lassie and I'm teaching people in metal shaping and I have done that for many years. And I'm back here with English Wheel with tips and tricks again. And uh, today I'm going to show you something that I think can be useful for, for you out there that making stuff. And I'm going to bend this as a U shape and I'm going to put the rubber band on uh, the top wheel and use a rounder wheel on the bottom. The, when I put the rubber band on the top wheel, the, when I'm rolling the panel back and forth, it's only going to bend it to two dimension. If I have two solid wheel as the English wheel is set up now, it's going to be a convex shape. So in the, the first, I'm going to show you what this panel is going to look like when I roll it with the rubber band, so you can see that, and then we can, I can show you that this is going to be straight on the top. Then after that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one more piece, but I'm going to pre-stretch that with two solid wheels first. So we put in a convex shape to the panel before I bend it two dimension. So that can be very useful many times when you, you have a panel, but it has mostly U shape, but still a little, little curve to it. It could be an airplane wings or who knows, but you want that little shape to it. So I'm going to show you those two ways to do it. So now I put the, the rubber band on the top wheel and this is an inner tube from a truck tire. <clears throat> and it can be used on many different English wheels. It's hard to find rubber band or, or inner tubes that is, is a good thickness. Sometimes the thickness can uh, have a variation around so it, it's not the same thickness. So I'm using a pretty low pressure so I adjust the pressure a little here now and now you can I'm going to roll this here and I should roll over the edges because it's only going to bend it where I'm rolling it okay. Do a little more on this side. Turn it around because I see that it's a little left, less on that side. Sometimes the rubber band will try to go out because I'm moving the panel in a zigzag. So stop before it's go totally off and then put it on there again. So now you can see that we have a bend two dimension. And I didn't force it down. The lower wheel pushing up the sheet in the soft rubber, and that's how it bends it. It's like a, every track is like a brake when you put it in the brake. I'm going to show you a little quick here with a ruler. So you can see that this one is now flat. So we don't have any arc this way at all. When you roll it with a rubber band, it's important that you go over this edge and go over this edge. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to make a similar piece again, but I'm going to do it just a little bit different so you can see the difference between this panel that is flat and the other one that's going to be with a little curve to it. So that's the next step. So I took the rubber band off and uh, the, the block of wood here, just holding the rubber band up so it doesn't uh, touching the wheel here on the bottom. I also changed the bottom wheel to the flattest wheel and that's what I'm going to start with. So I have a new piece here. And in this case, you can do like this, you can go after the pen. And I can hold my finger to the edge and put the frame around it like this. So I don't want to roll over that edge there. I want to keep that short and let that be what it is. And I can go to the side uh, with the edge of the sheet to the side of the wheel. 
and then I still have about three quarter inch into the touching point of, of the lower wheel. So, and when I'm rolling aluminum, it's really important that you have it clean, so you don't have any dust or anything. One little hair can make dents in the panel, and you, then you need to grind it or sand it off. So I'm going to roll it back and forth in a, in a very close zigzag. If I go over the edge, I can just spin the top wheel and go in again. When I go over the edge like that, I can repair that if I need to with a shrink and a stretcher. And, and I can use the shrinker to shrink that edge there. So aluminum is very soft, so keep in mind that this flat wheel that I have on the, on the bottom now, it's probably going to be enough after this, this pass over. So what I'm going to do now is I'm putting in a convex shape to the panel before I bend it with a rubber band. So uh, when I do that, I'm going to, after I bend it with a rubber band, I'm still going to have a little curve to it. So I change to the second wheel now. So now it's important that I have the zigzag even closer. The closer zigzag you have, the better result you're going to get. So I think I should spend a little, little more time in the center part of it. Sometimes you can use a little more pressure. If the zigzag is close to each other, you can use a little more pressure. And then in the end, you can go over it with a lower pressure to smooth out all the lines. So it depends on how, how good the zigzag are, or actually how good you can make it. You see, I've put in a, in a lot of curve to this now. I do just a little bit more. I'll make sure that I go all, all the way out to the red line there. So I think we are, we have enough there now. So now you can see that we have a convex shape there and you can see this shape from there. So what I'm going to do now or next to put the rubber band on again and go back to the third wheel and then I'm going to bend this more like a U shape and then we will see how much curve we're going to have here after I bend it with the rubber band. So here I am again now and I put the rubber band back to the top wheel and I changed to the third wheel because I want a little more curve to it. So I'm going to roll this now with the rubber band and then we, I can show you the result after that. So immediately when I start here you can see that it starts curving two dimension and the piece gets more straight already. And I'm not forcing down the panel. It, it bends it with the rubber band, so keep that in mind. 
I'm not forcing it at all with my hands. So I do a little more in the ends. And I do go over to this side. You see now the rubber band is on the way off. Like that. So you can see that it's going in a little bit here and a little in here. So let me shrink a little bit all the way here and a little on this side first and then we can check what we have on the top there. I'm over to the small shrink and, and the stretcher here now. I have a pair of them and um, I could use the deep one too but it's not necessary. This stuff can be done with a small shrinker and I know it, more, more people out there have the small shrinker and the stretcher. So I go in about one inch or three quarter inch deep and move it about one inch at a time. And do more steps and less pressure so you don't get too many marks. So you see now we have a curve there and it's, I think it's going to match the top there. So I'm going to go over to the other side And any time you do this, you can turn it around and see so you don't get the bubbles. And then instead of doing the whole thing and then look at it, oh shit, it's too much, too much pressure that I used so I got those bubbles. So you see from this view there now, you almost have the same curve on both sides. And that's why I'm holding this this way, so I can look from this view to see that I get the same radius on both sides. If you're holding the panel like this, you have no clue what radius you have on the other side. You can do it, but it will not help you at all. So now you can see that we have a curve there, and I think it's matching this top here pretty much the same. So we can go back to the English wheel again where I have the ruler. And you see there, now we have so much curve to this here. Remember that the other piece that I made? This one is flat. This can also be made with a, with a, a slip roller or as I did it with a rubber band in English wheel. But when I, when I pre-stretched it, now you can see how much we still have in it. If you want to create the same thing with this one, you need to shrink so much and deeper in on, on from the edge on this one. It's not enough to just shrink the edge. You need to shrink like a pie shape harder on the edge and less, less the further in you go to create this curve. But it's an easier way and smoother way to do it if you pre-stretch it in English wheel first and then roll it with a rubber band. So there we go. So that was the, the lesson for today. So if you want more information, you can go to www.lassimetalshaping.com. Thank you.